evening. It is a 27-year-old case that still has police stumped. But new DNA technology has police hopeful they can find the person who killed 8-year-old April Tinsley back in April of 1988. And News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us with what that is and how it could help. When Tinsley was abducted while walking to a neighbor's house and then found dead three days later, her killer left DNA evidence behind. Now a company says it's broken down DNA to determine what a suspect looks like. It's had national news in the past. And attention again. Parabon, a forensic DNA company, has used DNA to form this composite sketch of the person police may be looking for. Up until now, without a direct match, DNA has been worthless. But here, with this technology, there's no reason to let a case go cold. With this technology, you know, you can generate a profile and immediately that can help you generate a list of suspects. It can help you narrow down the list of suspects that you may have. But there's a limit to what it can provide. For the composite photo itself, definitely not a specific mud shot of a person. It, it, it's a long way from actually, I actually identifying a particular person. What this photo does show is what features the suspect likely has. Hair color, skin color, face shape, freckling. According to the program, the suspect is between 45 and 55, has fair skin, green eyes, and brown to black hair. Over the years, police have gotten thousands of tips regarding Tinsley's death and have a list of nearly 700 people who could be linked to the case. The biggest way it's helpful is telling us things that, that, that this person with this DNA does, definitely does not have. Um, and that way we can eliminate uh, different names and suspects that we get. Now at the very least, police again hope this eliminates suspects and gets the public thinking about what happened back in 1988. The Fort Wayne Police Department has an entire webpage dedicated to this case. You can see more about it by visiting this story at wayne.com. Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.